Bullet point bullets are a nasty business. The silver slug deformed and shredded on impact. He'll be okay, though. Hmm? He'll be okay? His internal organs are positively riddled. If I don't extract every single scrap of silver, he's liable to suffer some long-term toxicosis. Easy there. Try not to move. can't keep meeting this way, old boy. I figured I'd be done before you were conscious. My arm. <laughs> yes, very ugly, but not life-threatening. I can't say the same for these bullets peppered throughout your vital organs. Please, Big B, don't move it. Doctor. Look, I'm a bit engaged saving his life at the moment, but if the fractured extremity concerns him that much, he can set it himself. suppose. He's lucky to be alive. And he won't be next time if he keeps going like this. He didn't listen to me before. Maybe he'll listen to you. I don't know about that. Well, he should. There are limits to what even I can do. This is the job. Quiet. Just relax. Excuse me, Miss White, but perhaps it'd be better if you gave me a few minutes to finish with him. I, I think I should stay, at least until he's out of the woods. Believe me, Bigby couldn't be in better hands, and I need the space to work, so if you wouldn't mind... Don't worry, Snow. I'll be okay. We'll be done in a moment. Just please, give us the time. Hey, Doc, how much longer? Colin, leave him be. It's finished when it's finished. Because I once watched a vet sew a turtle together in ten minutes flat. Colin, you're not even supposed to be here right now. Oh, really? Where am I supposed to be? I'm here to take care of my friend. Colin, shut the hell up, will ya? Yes, that would be helpful. <sighs> there. All done. Great. This isn't a habit you should keep to, having visits with me. And, well, this time... This time was no joke. Eat as many metal shellings as you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart, and the only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. Miss White. He'll be fine for light duty, if he can figure out what that means. He knows what it means. It's just been an unusual couple of days. I know, but please, don't give him the excuse. His body will eventually give out. Take care of him, please. I will. He'll need rest, I assume? Sleep, mostly. Just keep watch, and make sure he doesn't get into further altercations. Snow has enough to deal with, Swinehart. I can take care of myself. Clearly. Anyways... Guard against, as they say. Miss White? Sheriff? Colin? Swiney? So... How do you, um... feel? It's Bigby, Snow. He'll be okay. Hell, I seen him take worse. How do you think I feel? Like shit. You should see how you look. You had us... <clears throat> you had us worried there for a while. 
you, uh, you stopped breathing, you know, when you passed out or, or died, I guess. It, um, it kind of scared the hell out of me. I've never seen you like that. And when Swineheart arrived... Snow, I'd never leave you. Yeah, you were really fucked up, man. You look like when you take an action figure and bend its limbs the wrong way. Colin... I'm just saying, I was worried about him is all. The guy hasn't had a night's rest in days. Well, I'll get some rest when this whole thing is done. What whole thing? What's even happening out there? I mean, do you guys have like a plan or something? And who should I be asking? Should I be worried about the crooked man taking over? Snow's the boss. She'll know what's best for the community. Thanks. The crooked man came out of the shadows for a reason. For him to attack us so blatantly like that. He either feels invincible or desperate. Well, if those are my two options, I don't think I'd pick desperate. What do you mean? You traded Crane to save Bigby. I'm just saying, that's not exactly something you do when you're playing with house money. So he called my bluff. It's not like I'm gonna let Bloody Mary just murder Yeah, uh, thanks, Snow, for all that back there. No problem. Thanks? You're not pissed that Crane's flown the coop? Or that the crooked man thinks he's got Snow under his thumb? We're all mad about it, Colin. What else could Snow do? If she didn't hand him over, my ass would be down the witching well. And Crane still would have been taken. Okay, okay, I'll take your word for it. All I care about right now is... just what does the Crooked Man want out of this? I thought he was just a... loan shark. But clearly, he's operating in other circles. It can't just be about Crane, right? Getting him out of town? Is this all about the murders? Crane can't be useful to him anymore. So what could this have to do with Faith and Lily? Crane was a puppet. And the Crooked Man worked the strings. This is all about control of Fabled Town. But then what do prostitutes have to do with it? Lily? And Faith? I don't know how it all works out yet, but I know it does. Somehow. The Crooked Man declared war against us last night. At least that's what I thought when it happened. But now I see this war has been going on for years. We just haven't noticed it because our way of doing things is broken. We need to do things the right way. What does that mean, the right way? What do you think I mean? I don't know, but it suspiciously sounds like your way. Yeah, wait, what do you mean? What is this right way? We haven't been doing a good job. You and I. So, starting now, we do everything cut and dried, by the book, straight as an arrow. Pure as driven snow. I'm not saying I'm the arbiter of- Sure you're not. This town has enough monsters. What happened last night, what you turned into, it can't happen again. We need monsters to fight monsters. Colin, if I really believed that we needed him to lose his flippin' mind at a moment's notice- We were under attack, Snow. What did you expect me to do? There are degrees. Degrees? I only ever do what's necessary. Really? Do you believe him? Yeah, I do. Look, Bigby, I care about how this is done just as much as I care about it getting done. So for that, you want to give him a handicap? Like the bad guys will worry if shit gets sloppy. Everybody wants Bigby to smile and shave and take a shower now and then. Hell, I'm practically the president of the Bigby Don't Be Such a Dick Club. Relax, Colin. I can speak for myself, okay? He'll get the job done. Just let him do it. I'm going to... I'm going to let you do it, okay? It's just that... Now that I'm deputy mayor, I need your respect. And this situation has to end. What situation? All unglamored fables starting today have to go and stay at the farm. Oh, give me a fucking break. Are you gonna let her talk to me like that? It's been the rule for a reason, Colin. Look, everyone just calm down, all right? 
I'm perfectly calm. I'm not. Tell me right now, what's it gonna be, Bigby? Wolf's residence. That's rude. Oh, Buffkin, what is it? Okay, I'll let him know. Thanks. Guess who's waiting in your office right now? Nerissa. Nerissa? That broad from the pudding and pie? Yes. Apparently, she told Buffkin that she has something she needs to talk to you about. But that she'll only tell you. And what do you think that could be? Ah, uh, Bigby's got an admirer. You always do well with the, uh, disenfranchised. She knows something. She's helped me a little with the case. Maybe she has something else. Maybe she does. I should get back to the business office. I've left Buffkin alone for too long taking calls. And I should probably change out of these clothes. Consider the discussion tabled, but not over. Let me know when you're done with Nerissa. Aye, aye, Captain. She's a piece of work. Hey, you're not really going to send me to the farm, are you? I mean, she seemed real serious about it, but I can still hang out here. Look, uh, maybe a few will get sent up, but you're my friend, Colin. I wouldn't do that to you. Don't worry about it. Thanks, Bigby. I, um, are you okay? You didn't look good last night. I wasn't sure you'd be... Well, let's just say I've been better. <coughs> Huff and puffs. Not many people smoke those. too late to talk. There's not a lot that I can talk about. You know that. So that spell Crane was trying to break. It's not just while you're at work, huh? What I mean is, I don't want to waste your time, but I don't want you wasting your own time either. Back in the dressing room, at the pudding and pie, I told you what I was looking for. You found a way to tell me. You sent me to the open arms. Maybe that'll work again. You can try. I just... Go ahead. It... might work. You're here because the crooked man just sent Crane to the bottom of my list of worries. And you have something you want to say about that, right? 
and these lips are sealed. If I could answer you just like that, I wouldn't have had to make that appointment with you. No, I guess not. Sometimes, we have to find our way through life on our own, grasping and fumbling in the dark. I... I used to have friends to help me find my way, but now they're gone, and I don't know what to do. Are you trying to say something about Faith and Lily? What I'm saying is friends matter, and I... I don't have any left. So I hope you're looking after yours. Are you? Look around you. Who are you talking about? Are my friends in danger? <sighs> I'm sorry. I thought I could do this. I need you to know I want to help, but... But... But your lips are sealed. I'm sorry if I'm wasting your time. I thought I knew how to say it. Ribbons. Faith wore one too. Do you like it? Hmm? Do you? It's not how it looks that concerns me. It's what it does. That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? Snow. Listen, Sheriff, can you keep this conversation between us? I could be in a lot of trouble. I shouldn't be talking to you. I won't tell anyone, don't worry. Thank you. Sorry, I just need to talk to the sheriff for a moment. Please excuse us. One minute. I might have a new lead for you, but I don't know how solid it is. Beauty and Beast called the office just now. They said they wanted to talk to you about something. I wonder if they've heard about Crane. Thank you for listening, Sheriff. You should go on to your next business. I don't think you'll be wasting your time. But wait, you don't have to go. That was... Uh, abrupt. That's one way to send a message. What did she tell you? I didn't mean to rush her out. Did you get anything from her? Okay then. Good work. So, about Beauty and Beast. Do you think there's something to it? Is this the right place to look? What could they know about the crooked man? Or do you think they just heard about last night? And they're scared about what's been going on? 
Beauty told me she had to take out a loan from the Crooked Man. Seems like a pretty bad deal. I can only imagine what they're thinking now. We need to solve this before something else happens. Who knows what? I have other matters to attend to. Knocking on doors? Snow sent me. Said you wanted to talk. Not me. Listen, I've had a shitty night. You think you're the only one? And I really don't want to deal with the runaround. Snow said you called and wanted to talk to me. Well, I didn't call. Must have been Beauty. She's been surprising me a lot lately. Can I? So have you, Vigby. Yet, with all the sneaking around and secrets, somehow I'm still the bad guy in this. I've had to hear about it all night long from her. Who is it? Who's there? Beast? If you don't want to talk, can you just get beauty for me? I don't know. Is it safe to turn my back? It's your pal. Bigby. Hi, Bigby. Please excuse us for just a minute. Can I talk to you in private? Yes, let's. Hmm. I guess I really do have the smallest apartment in the woodlands. I can already tell you're going to make a problem out of this. What's he doing here? We don't need to bring him into this. Beast. I just don't think we can trust him. Not after the way he went behind my back. And then you run and call him again? Well, I trust him. Of course you do. He was keeping secrets for you. It was one little thing. Do you mm. want to keep fighting Talk about, about that? living in the past. I want to try to sort this out. All I'm saying is we can handle this on our own. You didn't have to bring him here. We're out of money and answers. That's why I called. We'll finish this later. But we need to talk to Big B. Fine. If you want to talk, we'll talk. Sorry, it's been a long night. Yeah, you know what they say. Centuries of marriage come with centuries of baggage. I gotta say, your place, it looks, uh, expensive. What do you mean by that? Beast! No, really, I wanna know. What are you trying to say, huh? Did you come to give us decorating tips? I thought you were having money problems, but it doesn't look like you're suffering to me. Is this something about that loan you took out? From the Crooked Man? I didn't know what else to do, so... We should deal with this on our own. Bigby's just going to complicate I things. I called him here, and I want to see if he can help us out. Why are you being like this? I'm just trying to do what's best for us. Well, what kind of trouble are you in? Either it's the money, or it's something else. I gotta know one thing first. What if we did have something to say about the Crooked Man? What if we talk, and you don't get him? And all this comes back on us? We'd be risking a lot. We've seen what happens when you cross the Crooked Man. And I don't know if it's worth it. If you can't give us certain... assurances. I can protect you, but only if you tell me what I need to know. And that means details. No more stonewalling. We aren't. And just tell me what's going on here. Look, we're used to a certain kind of lifestyle, okay? We couldn't just give that we up. We never meant for it to get like this. It's just that we had nowhere else to turn, and we got in over our heads. There's not a lot of work out there. Who would we be if we just lived like...
Um, let me just, uh... A day at the beach? Skiing the slopes? <laughs> and we can't come to the phone that? right now, so leave a message at the beep and we'll get back to you as soon as... <laughs> what the fuck was that? Ah, don't worry about it. Probably just a wrong number. Really? I think we're one digit off from some pizza place. Who was that? You know who that was. Don't hold out on me. We've been getting horrible phone calls. It's the Crooked Man's people. Trying to collect, and we aren't safe. Even in our own home. We owe some money. Finally. All I care about is, how can I find the Crooked Man? Who do I talk to? Where do I go? The Lucky Pawn. That's where I borrowed the money. The Crooked Man's behind that place. I'd overheard people talking to Jersey about loans before. So, when I needed money, that's where I went. I didn't know what to do. Who gets loans at a pawn shop, anyway? What's really going on at this place? The Crooked Man knows what people need to get by, so he provides. Besides, it didn't seem like such a bad deal when Jersey Devil was explaining it. I can see now that it was a mistake, but I'm not the only one who goes there, you know. I saw the Woodsman's Axe there just the other day. It was in a display case. I guess he's hit hard times, too. There's a lot of that going around. I can't imagine he has a lot of marketable skills. Fucking Bloody Mary must go through there. She had Woody's axe last night. Trying to chop my damn head off with it. Maybe if you go there, you can sort some things out. I guess I'll go check out the Lucky Pawn. If I can't track down the Crooked Man there, maybe I can make enough noise that the Crooked Man will come find me. Hold on, Bigby. Don't go there. Sounds like you're just going to get Beauty in trouble. And... You know that butcher shop? The cut above? It's the place on Tubman Street. Same block as the baker and the candlestick maker. Well, I've been delivering packages from there for a while. The thing is, it's for the crooked man. And I don't think it's meat in the packages. You, you gotta understand, I needed work. You have to believe us. Well, what are you delivering? What's going on there? How does this fit into the Crooked Man's operation? I couldn't tell you. But I do know this. It's the only meat market in town that doesn't carry filet. I'm not sure how much actual butchery goes on there. How did you get involved with this? Johan the Butcher called. He had a problem with the refrigeration unit one night. But when I finished, it was your pal Mary who showed up to pay me. She said I was reliable. She liked that. And it's the only thing I've been able to pick up. And it's still not enough. I don't want Beauty to have to work. Especially not where she was. It's Mary you deal with? Bloody Mary is there? No, Johan is the one who hands over the packages, you know, day to day. But I've seen her around there. She uh, gets under my skin, you know. I, I try to avoid her. But I don't need to tell you what she's You're like. damn right you don't. I don't need a rundown on her reputation. If Mary works out of there, I need to look into it. I just wanted to provide for beauty. Give her the kind of life she deserves. We shouldn't have to live like this. I'm scraping to get by. None of us should. We were royalty once. We were accustomed to a certain lifestyle. All we want is to make this place feel a little bit like home. You wouldn't understand, Big B. I don't need to understand. It's not my fucking job to understand. My job is to keep Fable Town safe. So, where are you going? If this all goes sideways, I'd like to know where it's coming from.
I want to know what the crooked man is hiding at that butcher shop. You know, Bigby, once you show up there, word is gonna spread. There may be nothing left for you to see if you go to the Lucky Pond after. Well, I guess I'll find out. Wait. I don't know what you're planning to do when you find the Crooked Man, but is there any way you could help us out? What do you mean? Well, maybe you can make this all just go away. We would really appreciate it. What do you say? Can you help us out? You're asking me to kill him, aren't you? Is that what you think I do? No, of course not. I don't know how you'd get that idea. We just, we know that the Crooked Man is dangerous to all of Fable Town. I'm gonna do my job. Lucky for you, that might just solve your problems anyway. Oh, thank you, Big B. I'm sure you'll do the right thing. got a whole lot of customers, or he doesn't have any. Right. Not very appetizing. Frozen solid. Who'd want to eat this? Welcome, Sheriff. Uh, what can I get for you? You interested in a particular cut? <clears throat> um, let's see. What do we have in stock? Let's, uh, let's see what we got here. Flank steak on special. New York strip. Uh, oh, I can have some wild boar in tomorrow if you like. Uh, sirloin, ribs. Rose? I know Bloody Mary hangs around here. I want to talk to her. I... Uh, I don't know what you mean. <laughs> what you see is what you get. Just meat. You don't find anything else. We just, uh... We do more wholesale and meat packing than walk-up service. I'd like to help you. Really, I would. But there's uh, nothing here. You better stop fucking around, Butcher. I'm, I'm not. I am not fucking around. I can tell just by looking at it that your meat ain't selling. If you're lying to me, I'm gonna find out. I... Sheriff, I... Did you hear that? What? Oh, I'm real sorry. Hold on. I, I just gotta go check on that. Don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. Butcher? I just have to go see. Shit. I got it covered back here, Sheriff. I'll be right out. Enough of this shit, Johan. Come on out. Just wait in the front. I'll be right out. I'm sorry, Sheriff, but you're not supposed to be back here for uh, safety purposes. Come on, damn it. 
such an innocent guy, you're acting pretty damn strange, Johan. I don't know what to tell you. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. They're gonna kill me. Oh, God, she is gonna fucking kill me. He's gonna get me killed. Things I do. Huh? How you doing? Please, please, Bigby. Please don't. Bigby? What happened to Sheriff? Please don't kill me, Sheriff. I don't want to die. Please, please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. If you don't talk, I might have to do just that. Is that what you want, Johan? No, no, please. You don't have to do that. I'm dead. Either way, they said to me, Johan, you could keep your life and lose your shop or lose both. What would you do? It, it was a simple choice to make in the moment. Easy even when they got you on a hook in the deep freeze. Just open the door, Johan. It won't be your problem anymore. I, I can't. Why not? What's back there? I don't know. I, honest. I, I've never been back there. It's locked from the other side. Look, I, I just worked the front. That's all I'm supposed to do. Well, who locked the fucking door? I, I'm not part of their crew. I, I don't know who or, or what goes on back there. Crew? The Crooked Man's people. Jersey Devil, D and Dumb, and that mental case, Bloody Mary. Y you want to talk about the real butcher? <laughs> it's her, not me. This is her place. I'm telling you, they muscled in on me. Took over my storage and delivery a long time ago. All cause of that heat wave. That summer was even hotter than this one. Oh, I'd let Mary and those porkers stay cool in the meat locker one day, playing cards, having a great time. I guess they were sizing the place up. Shows what I get for being nice. I'm just a victim in this. I don't know what they do back there. I swear. A and I don't want to know. Well, we're about to see what's back there. And then we'll see if I believe you. I knew this would happen. Didn't know when, but there would be the day. Shh. What is this place? I told you, Bigby. I don't know. They muscled me out. I swear, I don't know anything more. I haven't been back here when it was like this. Warning lights. It's business. It's all I've ever had. I guess that's why I stuck around when they took it. Damn it. You can't act like you're forced into this and then turn around and help them still be here if you hadn't flipped that switch out there. I had to. Huh. You come in here making trouble for me. But you only give a shit now because the crooked man stepped on your toes or something. Where were you when they took this place from me? It hasn't been easy for me. You, you think I want to live with this at my back? I needed help. Well, I'm here now. I'm gonna sort this all out. So this is what Beast was delivering. Glamours, other kinds of magic. Could be dangerous stuff. What are they making here? I'm just a butcher. You want to talk T-bones? <laughs> that I can do. This stuff is out of my league. There are a lot of nasty spells you can make with the right equipment. Chains. Who's getting chained up here? You can't think I'm the only one the crooked man has under his yoke.
These are raw materials for making magic. Anti-Greenleaf and any other rogue witches out there probably get their supplies here. Don't you see what's going on here? With all these raw materials, looks like he could process them into just about any kind of magic. He's got all he needs. The gear. Slave labor to work it. So these must be the orders. He's got his hooks into everybody. And it's pretty clear how. Oh yeah? How? Doing it like this. It's bound to be cheaper than the 13th floor. This is just horrible. Things that must have gone on here. It's the putting in pie girls with the ribbons. Whoever he's got in here in these chains, he's he's enslaving fables. On my watch, people just don't know the real cost of getting something cheap. You don't have to tell me. That fucker Crane knew all about it. Yeah, what about Crane? If this all... I mean, finding the crooked man is so fucking important, why don't you ask your boss? Snow. No, Crane. He said he knows where everybody is. I don't know how, but he's got it some way. That's right. It was that creepy magic mirror with the big green head and all. Why don't you just use that? Find the crooked man that way. Leave me alone. Yeah. With stuff like that mirror, I'm surprised that you ever need to leave the office. Can't you just vaporize anyone who gives you trouble? It's fucking broken. Crane shattered the mirror and made off with one of the pieces. He probably still has the shard with him. Well, if they got their hands on an important magical item, there's only one place they'd take it. The Lucky Pawn. They probably took Crane there, too. The Lucky Pawn. If I can find the mirror piece there, I can find the crooked man. Hey, hold on. Well, I'm real happy you found what you're looking for, Bigby. But what about me? Huh? Do you really think this is gonna be all right? Of all this stuff in here, I do know one thing. That's his icon, his symbol. What kind of a guy uses a torture device as his icon? <laughs> the kind of guy who isn't going to be understanding about Bigby Wolf showing himself in. So tell me this. What the hell am I supposed to do now? I'm going to have to spend the rest of my short life looking over my shoulder for Bloody Mary. They won't care that I held up my end. Report to the business office. Tell Snow I sent you there. And we'll, uh, we'll figure something out. Some kind of protection. Thank you. Thank you, Sheriff. Jersey, don't, don't give me that shit. What the fuck is the point of having a system if you're just gonna... Is that my fucking system? Jack, what the fuck is going on? But you, I'm you're uh, the guy who just makes gonna, I'm the guy to keep uh, shit in order. You know. And that's it, Woody. If you love your ex so fucking much, why'd you pawn it in the first fucking place, huh? <clears throat> I didn't pawn it, asshole. It was stolen from my... Up so get the fuck out of my sight. Hit the bricks. See you later. Hey, what's going on here? What the fucking hell? Christ, and this fucking guy too? Are you kidding me? It was here. It was right fucking here. What did you do with it? How the fuck do I know? Listen, you bald little dipshit. You're gonna... <clears throat> you piece of shit. <clears throat> I'm gonna rip your fucking lungs out. Back it up, Jersey. You're dealing with me now. You got here fast. Still looking for whoever killed them hookers? Or are you done chasing your tail? 
Where's my axe? Who'd you give it to? You follow me here all the way from Battery fucking Park? Hey, back off and settle down. Oh, what the fuck are you gonna do? Back off, dog. I just want what's mine. My axe. You talk big. But I don't think you got the stones to back it up. Still a little sore, are we? Why should Mary get all the fun? You ain't so tough. You know what? I'm just... Ow! You... Ow! This is my fucking fight. Not now. Dog, you got a lot of nerve. shard. Where is it? Bloody Mary brought it here, didn't she? You don't know anything about anything, do you? What do you have? Nothing. Had ah, useless bitch Snow White in a broken fucking mirror. No fucking friends. No clue about who was really running this town. Oh! The next thing you say better be something useful. You can't find a crooked man. No one can. Oh, the door to his house. It bounces around. Never in one spot. You'll never find it. Even Crane had to use the magic mirror. They dumped all his shit here. Bloody Mary uses this place like a fucking dump. Where's Crane's stuff? Where'd they put it? In back. Just go on. Get Crane's shit and go. Not that it's gonna do you any good. See anything? Crane's coat. No time for traveler's checks, huh? He won't be needing this anymore. That sick piece of... The shard. It's the shard. Finally. Hey, Sheriff. Those girls are still 
dead. Oh, and there's nothing you can do to bring them back. And I don't know what they did, but I do know this. Oh! Yeah, shut the fuck up, will you? Out of smoke? having trouble deciding which one of you to hit with this thing. Jersey was wrong, you know. About what? About those girls. There is something you can do about it. You can get the fucker who did it. Is that the plan? Believe me. That's all I've been doing. This whole damn time. All right, we'll go do it then. Hey, Woody. Yeah. You gonna be all right? I don't care who killed the prostitutes. If Crane was helping himself to the community coffers, it means his hand was in my pocket. And you just let him go! I don't know what you heard, but it didn't happen like that. Are you denying the facts? She's denying me the chance to get a word in. Now, Miss White, are Sheriff you... Bigby has returned. Ah, oh, there's the old wrecking bowl himself. Bigby, where have you been? I'm not finished here, Miss White. You will have to wait. <sighs> just one moment, please. Look what I found. Seems your dog wants a biscuit. Buffkin, get this piece in the mirror right away. With pleasure, Miss White. <sighs> Finally, things are swinging back in the right direction. Good work, Bigby. You've been gone all day. What did you uncover? I thought you were going to report back to me. I mean, it's fine. I gotta say, this thing reaches a lot further than we thought. Crooked man has something on everybody. It wasn't just beauty in the loan. Beast was working for him. His goon, the Jersey Devil, is putting the squeeze on all kinds of fables down at the Lucky Pawn. And he's got fables enslaved at the butcher shop, making black market magic. This is worse than we could have imagined. But that's over now. Because we got the mirror. And once it's fixed, we got him. That's how Crane did it. That's how we're gonna do it. Excellent work. Really. Sheriff, I could use your assistance. Would you join me at the mirror? Don't go far, Sheriff. I'd like to have a few words of my own with you. Unbelievable. Pompous ass. Oh yeah? Take a number. I don't understand. This piece just doesn't want to join the rest. Do you have any idea why? You got me. Well, where did you find it? What has it gone through since being separated from the rest? Shattering is a very traumatic experience, you know. I found it in Crane's coat. The last person I saw with Crane or his coat was that psycho Bloody Mary. Maybe she had some... Ah, yes, Miss White was asking about her. That explains it. You know who and the Mirror have a very unhappy history with each other. How would you like it if she tried to use you as a doorway? I think I already know the feeling. Well, I think I know how to proceed now. It will just take a little extra coaxing, that's all. Thank you for your help. It could be a while, Sheriff. I'll find you when it's ready. Besides which, he might not want to come out with you watching. 
Oh, he doesn't like being spied on. If you ask me, you're everything that's wrong with Fable Town. Is it fixed? Did you ask about the Crooked Man? Buffkin's still working on it. He said it might be a while. If you're so self-reliant, what do you want from the business office so bad? What I want is my business. I can't take those two right now. We're trying to catch a murderer, and they're... They're over there bickering about bureaucracy. We're at war. Don't they realize that? You need some help over there? Yeah, thanks. Go talk to Toad. But just so you know, we can't pay him. He really needs to go to the farm, you know. So, just break the news and be done with it, okay? No budge on that bloody glamour. I only came in to see about... Toad, come here. I thought I made myself very clear. I see how it is. Passed off to an underling, eh? Why am I not surprised? Well, you did cause what damage brings me in here, so maybe it's for the best. Just need a little bit of dosh to cover it. I tried talking to her about it, but it's like chatting up a brick wall, it is. Now, I'm sure you've got your own agenda, Sheriff. I'm starting to think you don't take me seriously, Toad. How many times have I told you to get glamoured up? You know that if you're out of glamour, I gotta send you to the farm. Well, how about your friend the pig, hmm? Is he going to the farm too? Yeah, you thought we didn't know about him, huh? A worst kept secret in Fable Town. Colin stays out of sight, for Mondays at least. Can you say the same? Oh, fine, fine, I get that. But might I propose a very simple solution? If you give me one more chance and hear me out, I'll see a way for me and me boy to stay. I'm not gonna ask for any more than I need. I just wanna stay. So what do you say? You just give me enough to cover me glamours and we'll call the rest a wash. Please, Sheriff. Don't take TJ from the only home he knows. His old glamour rule is oppressive. I've done nothing wrong but look different. You know it's not right. Look, I'll try to get you that money and get you another chance, but you have to understand, that's not entirely up to me. Oh, thank you, Sheriff. I knew I could count on you to make me whole again. We get it sorted and I'll be glamour to the nines, I will. Bluebeard, you want to talk? Now's your chance. I've just made my donation funding this office, so direct your questions to Miss White. Well, at least he's not trying to get rid of me. He's not? For now. Did you take care of Toad? I mean, I saw the way he left. I know it may not seem that important right now, but glamours are the law for a very good reason. Don't worry. I did the right thing. Are you sure? Because he left looking pretty happy. <sighs> Fine. We'll deal with it later. I know I should be asking how it got like this. But I just keep wondering why it happened. To Faith and Lily. You've seen his world. Do you have any idea why he'd want them dead? I don't know if the Crooked Man killed them with his own hand or if it was one of his goons. If there's one thing i figured out, it's that the Crooked Man is all about control. It's what he does with the loans at the pawn shop, the magic he peddles, chains, ribbons. Maybe Faith and Lily weren't doing what they were told. Or maybe they just tried to leave. Sheriff, Miss White, I believe the mirror is repaired. I have to say I have been better. But thanks for putting me back together. I'm sorry, I just, I have to know. Mirror, mirror, we're glad you weren't slain. Now please show us that sick creep crane. Yeah, I want to see where he's ended up to. You will get on that plane to Paris, and you will wait for the day the Crooked Man needs you. Until then, not a peep. Otherwise, I get to deal with you my way. So please, please disobey. Wait a minute. Someone's watching. What? 
just happened? We pointed you in the wrong direction. And looked at Bloody Mary's reflection. Oh, her. That explains the sting. I'd rather not have to feel the pain she brings. So, let's not do that again, okay? Looks like we'll have to track him down later. You're right. We need to focus on the immediate threat, and that's the Crooked Man. Bigby, we don't have a lot of time. <sighs> mirror, mirror, no time to pout. So, where does Crooked Man hang out? I don't recognize the door, but that's the Crooked Man symbol on it. Hold on. door. It moves. Yeah, Jersey mentioned that. Wait a minute. I know that door. That's Central Park. I don't know when it's gonna move again, but I'm gonna get there before it does. Bigby, wait. When you get the Crooked Man, make sure you bring him back alive. He has to stand trial. We can't just dispense street justice. I know that emotions can run high. And you have your reasons to handle this a certain way. I'll catch him and bring him back here. Alive. Then we can clean him and cook him together. Good. I have enough to worry about here while I prepare the case against him. So I'm going to trust you to handle this properly. That is, if you think you're ready. Of course I'm ready. I got no other choice. Sheriff, I'm here to take you to the boss. Thanks, by the way, for leaving off Tiny. Tiny Tim. I have to admit, when they asked me to watch the door, I wasn't sure what to expect when you came through that portal. I know you aren't here on a social call. Hold on. You've just been waiting for me to show up? You knew I was coming? That's what they told me. I don't know, they said you made it pretty clear. I'm supposed to bring you right on in, so if you'll come this way. Look, this is the one thing I have to do. Please don't make this hard on me. All right, let's get this over with. Come on. That's all I want, Sheriff. Thanks for understanding. This is all I'm here to do, and I don't want to mess it up. <laughs> I know I'm probably the last person you'd expect to be a guard, or an escort for that matter. I was a little surprised myself when they asked me to do it. You shouldn't be here, Tim. This place is dangerous, especially for someone like you. It's not like that. Whatever you may think of him, he doesn't treat me like some broken little kid. I think he gets what it's like. He gave me a job, and I'm lucky to have it. This is the only option I've got. Just keep that in mind, maybe? Because if you and the boss go up against each other, the rest of Fable Town is going to get caught in the middle. I can find the door myself. You should just get the hell out of here. Things are going to get ugly in a minute. Leave. I told you, I have to do this. Hey, you've been warned. Stick around, and you're a part of this, just like anyone else. A lot of us depend on him. Some of us never get to the front of the line at the business office. But he's there. We need you, but we need him too. What we don't need is a war. Hey, Sheriff, hold up! 
I gotta go in with you. Thanks. <laughs> Man, some kind of a fucking joke to you. What did I tell you, eh? Stop laughing at me. Oh, yeah? Mate. Go ahead. You got a job to do. It's the wolf. Sheriff Wolf, sir. Thank you, Tim. I know the sheriff isn't the accommodating sort, but you handled it. You did well. You can go now. Thank you, sir. You see, everyone in Fabletown has a role to fill. You just have to pay attention to what they need to help them find it. Why don't you have a seat, Sheriff? We have a great deal to discuss. I've heard stories about you. In the old days, how you picked off those men one by one. Oh, how they screamed. The wolf is coming. And they would wait. Hiding anywhere they could squeeze their pathetic, shivering corpses. Some would just drop to their knees where they stood, close their eyes, and wait for death. And you'd give it to them. <laughs> I wish I could have seen it. Oh well. 